You say I should journal every day, but I don't. You say if I write things down, then I'll know myself better. But I probably won't. I know that there is something I should do to be a. Hello. Hello everyone. I'm a little bit nervous right now. I'm feeling very exposed and very vulnerable but I never thought I'd have to have this conversation on my YouTube channel or any of my socials at that but it is a conversation that has to be had and I've kind of been putting it off and putting it off but as you guys know at the start of the year my beautiful cat Earl passed away. My beautiful kitten, the love of my life. I miss him every single day and that's been a really really difficult thing to go through. I have I've also been going through a breakup the last two plus months, I guess. I have kept this part of my life very, very private. In person and online, I am always very protective of that relationship. I spent nine years of my life with this person and I'm trying not to cry. I kind of naively thought that I could keep this also offline, that I wouldn't have to mention that I'm going through a breakup and I could just film like normal and you guys would never know because he's never on my channel so you guys wouldn't even notice. Yeah, was a little bit naive to the fact that I felt like I was almost first of all like lying to you guys I really struggled to vlog because it's really hard to vlog when you're going through the biggest change you've ever gone through in your life and pretending that isn't happening is just not doable I tried to film so many times and even trying to edit it just felt so wrong and you guys have always been so incredible and supportive of me so I feel I can tell you all this I will not really talk about it past this but I just wanted to let you guys know that this is what's happening in my life. It is a major, major thing that's happening in my life. I have so many emotions going on at the moment and it's it's overwhelming, it's scary. I'm feeling more vulnerable than I ever have in my life. Breakups knock your confidence and it's almost like I've had a comfort blanket and somebody has ripped that comfort blanket off and like now I'm just exposed and I'm cold and I don't want anyone to look at me but it feels like everybody's looking at me and it's not a nice experience. It's really, really difficult. So I'm feeling not confident. I'm feeling vulnerable I'm feeling a little bit weak I'm feeling just fragile and I will gradually build my strength back up I will gradually build my confidence back up but I think I won't be able to do that until I can be honest about what's happening right now and I want to be more consistent on YouTube. I haven't been consistent because first of all, I haven't been consistent in my life full stop. One day I'm okay, next day I'm not. One moment I'm okay, next moment I'm not. But also it's been really hard for me to be consistent when I haven't explained to you guys what's going on. But yes, I hope you guys can also respect that this is kind of like a very private thing. Um, but I know you guys will. You've always been so kind and lovely and good to me. I have the most loving, incredible community in the world and I'm just so grateful for that. So I wanted to share this with you and just explain that that is where my absence has been felt over here on YouTube. I have been posting pretty much similarly on Instagram and TikTok, but I am my most vulnerable here on YouTube because a, you just can't film a video that is 20 minutes long over the space of a week when you're not yourself at all. It's much easier to film like a 20 second reel, but it's very different on here. So at least I have explained to you guys where I have been and I hope you guys are looking forward to kind of joining me on this journey over the next few months of my life, trying to regain my confidence and learn a whole new way of life really it's kind of insane I'm trying my best to look at silver linings and to look at positives and things and i'm just going to use this as such a healing and growing year i just need this right now but yeah i I'm sorry for talking so much. I just wanted to explain what I've been up to and where I've been. I have really, really missed you guys and I can't explain the guilt I've felt about 
not being able to post to my the best of my abilities but do not fear i am back i hope you guys are happy about that Ugh. What an insane start to my year, guys. I just, if I don't laugh, I'll just cry about it. It's just been the most whirlwind, shocking, devastating, and just sad. It's just been a really, really sad few months. I've had my good moments in between there, but otherwise I just have been sad. And it's just been a sad, sad start to the year but i am fingers crossed feeling in my gut that the tides are turning for me and these next few months are going to be up and down but filled with some amazing ups so i'm just focusing on that but yeah i'm excited i'm so happy to be back i've missed this so so much Wednesday afternoon and my mom is about to dye my hair. This is how my hair is currently looking. I really like it at the moment but especially during the day the ends get a little bit brassy and a little bit orangey in colour because the blonde is kind of coming through and when I do my hair in a bun my roots are a lot darker than the ends. I just like the kind of roots and ends to match so I'm using a medium brown hair colour to do that. You can kind of see here that they're quite light. I probably should have shown you guys in the daylight, but anyway. Two colors that I bought. I got number five, which is medium brown, and dark brown, which is number four. But I'm gonna go with medium brown, because I feel like with box dye, it always comes out much darker than it looks in the photograph. So I think medium brown should be okay. <laughs> currently here at Friday. This is my hair all done. How cute. I absolutely love it although I'm about to put it up because it's quite greasy. It needs another wash Um, I'm gonna do that this evening. But yeah the ends are just darker now and they match my roots much better and I just I felt like going a little bit to the dark side and darker than I was so I'm pretty happy with that I like the tone of it I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup just to feel a little bit more awake and ready for the day I rotted in bed yesterday so I spent the whole day Thursday in my bed Wednesday night at like 2 in the morning I had to go pick my sister up from the airport so I didn't get to sleep until about half 3 and it just threw me off the next day and I had one bad moment and then I turned it into a bad day. I just kind of went with the bad. I say bad, I was just, I was feeling down and I'm not gonna dwell on it or beat myself up about it because there's nothing you can do about what you've done. I also have a really busy two months coming up with, with work. I am going to 
a premiere on Wednesday. I'm going to the Challengers premiere, which is a film that has been on my like number one movie releases since it was meant to come out last summer and it got pushed back till now. I cannot believe it. When this invite came through to me, I literally screamed. I'm going over with Warner Brothers. <laughs> I'm going with them. I'm going to London. It's in Leicester Square. Like, this is the place where movie premieres happen. I'm going to it. I'm walking a red carpet, I think. Yeah, I'm guessing I am. It's just exciting and also nerve wracking. One of my 2024 goals was to go to a movie premiere um, in London and the fact that it's happening and it's only April is crazy. So I have that coming up, then I come home and then May I'm going to Paris. I'm going three days by myself, then my mom joins for three days and then I'm going from there with my mom on the train down to Cannes. This is my first time in many years I will be in Cannes while the film festival is on. I'll be there for the second week of the film festival and the weekend that the Formula One is on in Monaco. I don't have any plans yet to go to the Formula One but I'm going to just be in that area which is so nice at that time. So there's a really exciting group of things coming up over the next few months and I've never been to Paris before which is just in insane. I have always 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 wanted to go and my mom lived in Paris for a year and she hasn't been back since and that was before we were born so I'm really really excited to go with her Paris is like one of her happy places and I'm excited to be able to take her so yeah that's what's going on I've been contemplating all my time Thoughts make me tired, just running through my mind Wonder if there's peace that I can find Instead of always being on the ground Hello my loves, it is Friday evening It's actually Friday night, it's pretty late It's after half ten But I'm watching a new film tonight which is fun I want to watch two films a week Like two, sorry I want to watch two new films a week over the month of April um, because it can be really easy especially when I'm in a bit of like a headspace like this to watch films I've watched before that are comfort and um, which I still will but I think it's also nice to push myself to watch some new things and um, discover some stuff <laughs> sorry there's a funny scene on but I'm currently watching Some Like It Hot which is an old very classic comedy and it stars Marilyn Monroe, which I actually haven't watched a Marilyn Monroe movie before, so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm about 20 minutes in. It follows these two musicians, these two guys, they're musicians, and they get into like a spot of trouble. They're innocent, but they need to get away, they need to kind of run away, and they dress up as women and play in a band with a group of women. I think old films used to like really intimidate me. <gasps> There's Marilyn Monroe. She's gorgeous. Um, but yes, like I was saying, old films used to really intimidate me. Um, I used to think like, oh, I'm not smart enough to understand them, which is crazy. But um, especially last year I watched Singing in the Rain for the first time and absolutely loved it. I was completely blown away at the fact that this film was made so long ago and yet it felt, I don't know, modern to me. Like it felt like the humor, the tropes in it, the story arcs, everything about it still felt very today um which was really impressive and i've heard great things about some like it hot as well so i'm gonna keep watching and get a little sleep but yeah let me know if you guys have watched any new films recently i would love to hear